To get the best Madden team, go to instantmaddencoins.com. You can buy players, coins, and training directly to your account. And code MMG is 10% off. Your, your mother is mine. Your sister is mine. Your brother is mine. Uh -huh. Your dog is mine. It's back, baby. And I'm taking no prisoners. <laughs> I don't care if she's a three. I don't care if she's three. I'm taking those! Yeah! <laughs> I can't say that. I can say that. I can say that. Let's go! Wheel of Mutt! The final season! Oh! It hurts to say it out loud, but it's also exciting to say it out loud. If I'm on the final season of Madden 22 Wheel of Mutt, that means we're that much closer to Madden 23 Wheel of Mutt, which also means closer to NCAA Football 23, which is going to be so sick. Regardless, boys, let me walk through what's happening right now, and let's hop into a banger of an opener episode. Number if you've been keeping up with all things Wheel of Mutt, Double or Nothing, all that, you know this is my final season for Madden 22. Yes, I could make Wheel of Mutts until I die, but we needed to die as a winner. I don't want to be posting Wheel of Mutt in June and July. June and July is where we get creative, we play some 2K, we do some random shit, it's summer. Let's have some fun, I don't gotta keep playing Madden. We take one final crack at securing another Super Bowl ring, adding a trophy to the trophy case, and clapping cheeks, like we always do. Before I go any further on that, you notice the room, it's really barren and it's a new set. I moved again, but I'm still in Phoenix. I just moved to an upgrade house in Phoenix. I'll give you a full house tour and all that fun stuff later. For legal reasons, I can't give you the house tour right now. I'll explain all that later, but the walls are barren because this weekend, one of my good friends is coming in. We're all going to work on building this studio and making it a lot cooler. For now, it has to be barren, so I'm sorry. I know it's kind of lame. And now let's get into some Wheel of Mud stuff. So as you know, I did win the last Super Bowl, so I get to prestige one new player. I get to keep all my previous prestiges and I completed my challenge. If you guys remember in that video, the Darren Waller had this insane aggro catch. Such a cool play for a touchdown. And my challenge wheel was score a touchdown with one of the players from the first episode of Wheel of Mutt. In episode one, the only remaining players are DK Metcalf, Darren Waller, Jalen Ramsey. So I had to score with one of those three. So obviously it was either DK Metcalf or Darren Waller. I scored with Darren Waller. I completed my challenge. Now completing a challenge in a Super Bowl is amazing because it gives Gives you one of any pack from the store, but you get that one player after your team resets. So I can open one of any single pack in the store right now. Now let's take a peek at my team before I do that. As you can see on your screen, it's really no mystery. I prestige Cooper Cup. I made the Galaxy Brain play to take Team of the Week Cooper Cup because I thought Cooper Cup was gonna get an NFL Honors card. He did even better and he got the Super Bowl fucking MVP. So his card is insane. 97 speed, 89 jump, 99 catch. He's so good. He is 99 almost every single route run. He's insane. I made a whole video on him. He's so good. Amazing prestige. I love this call. And the second thing we got to do is a power up player. You guys know it's new this year. I start with the base version of a power up player. And every time they score a touchdown, I upgrade them one level, except I have never done a defensive power up player. And I didn't know how I was going to do it. And as you can see on offense, our, our power up player is not an offensive player. My power up player is Luke Keekly. Now let me walk you through my decision, why I chose it, and how we're gonna do this. Yes, I already have Devin White, but obviously there's still three linebacker spots I need to fill, and the defense I run is nickel 335 wide. In 335 wide, there's really only three linebackers on the field, but they are so so important. So we have Devin White. Right now I have Luke Keekley at middle linebacker too. But if I come over to specialists, I have Luke Keekley as my sub linebacker. That means he'll sub in as my user and Devin White's going to kick out to an outside linebacker, which I am more than okay with. Here's how we're going to do Luke Keekley's power up, okay? Every interception, sack, and touchdown is one upgrade. So if I end a game with one interception, one sack, and I took it back to the house for a pick six, that's three upgrades. One for the touchdown, one for the sack, one for the interception. I think it's fair. In fact, 
I almost think it might be a little bit easier than offense. It's kind of hard to say. We'll see how it pans out. I love this Luke Kuechly. Number one, if I take this all the way to the top, it's a gold 99 Luke Kuechly. He has like 96 speed. He's a freak of fucking nature. He costs like 1.5 mil. He is incredible. So good. So I know this is a good call, number one. Number two, I like that he's a linebacker. I was thinking about doing primetime because the primetime corner is so good. You guys might've seen the finale of Double or Nothing where he just clutched that game for me. But the problem with that is like, what, am I gonna use her a corner the whole game to get him stats? That's pretty difficult. And if I'm not using him, I just gotta hope that they throw to him and he gets the INT. I didn't like it so much. So I like this. Eight upgrades to get to the gold 99. That's not that bad. Debo Samuel, I think, needed like 11. So this is already good. Eight is very doable. Not to mention, he starts out in an 82 overall. And now that I look at it, eight is actually kind of OP. So I'm actually gonna count these five slots as an upgrade. So this is actually gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The only other thing I have left to do is open one pack to add to this team. And I'm kind of torn on what I want to do. As you can see, I have a ton of bronzes, which is horrifying. I hate having this many bronzes. Do I open one Ultimate Legends Fantasy Pack, try and get some of the bronzes off my team? Or, or do I just open a training pack and get a, a guaranteed 94 plus player? There's a ton of really good 95 overall offensive linemen in the veterans pack. So there's a pretty good chance I'd get it. So I could do that or I go in 160,000 coin Ultimate Legends Fantasy Pack. I get three of five 77 plus, two of two 87 plus Ultimate Legends and two 87 plus overall elite elite players. I think the bigger gamble is the Ultimate Legends Fantasy Pack. I was just on the phone with Calvin Ridley the other day. He said you should always gamble. So I'm going with the Ultimate Legends Fantasy Pack. Let's fucking run it. All right, let's see if we can fill some crucial holes on this team right now. Tyler Lockett, way better than the bronze wide receivers I got in. So yes, I'm excited. And this right here is why you finish your challenge in the Super Bowl, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, a, a base elite legend, Rodrick Thomas. Hell yeah. That's an 85 or 86. Right outside, left outside. I don't know what either of those dudes, but hey, they're linebackers, right? And Zeke Elliott. Shit, I only have three picks here. You know, I'm gonna go with Thomas, Dave Robinson, and Zeke. And here's our ultimate. I hate that it reveals a player before the animation's done. Left tackle, Brian McKinney. I'm leaning to, I'm not gonna look, because I don't wanna see. I, I wanna actually be surprised. Brian McKinney and Eric... So I do get a halfback. I kind of am leaning towards Brian McKinney though, just to lock up a left tackle would be nice. That's a Super Bowl player, right? Quentin Jefferson and most feared Odell Beckham Jr. And I get two picks. I'll go Brian McKinney and Quentin Jefferson. None of these guys will make my final lineup, but hopefully it'll help me win some of these early games. Zeke Elliott, now my starting halfback. Okay. Feed Zeke. And Quentin Jefferson's gonna go in for Marquis Spencer. What are your stats, by the way? 86 speed, 91 Excel. Black Shed is dog shit. You Black Shed is a super important stat. This will be good in case I go up against any like Michael Vick, Lamar Jacksons in one of these first few games. And we haven't even started the episode yet. We're sitting at a 78 overall. That's really good. Obviously, we have so many prestiges that help this team, but. How much we've added is great. Quarterback is the number one thing I'm looking for right now. We are not going anywhere without a good quarterback. After that, I really couldn't tell you. And I almost kind of like how defense is. Corner three McPherson is a big problem. So is my whole O line, my wide receiver is my halfback. So, I mean, this is Wheel em Up, baby. We do what we gotta do. The final season of Wheel em Up. Let's make it amazing. Our first one has been, it's gotta be heat, right? It's gotta be heat. It's gotta be heat. Hey, let's go. Hey, you guys have not seen this one yet. I'm so excited to do this. Back in the day, the best Madden database was Mutthead. But for whatever reason, they are kind of irrelevant now. And the new best one is called Mutt.gg. So this is Mutt.gg right here. Um, They show all the players, their prices. Though They have a pack simulator. It's going to give me 10 options. Out of those 10 options, it could be literally any single card in the entire game. Like It doesn't matter if they're actually in packs in Madden right now. They'll be in the Mutt.gg packs. That's why it's called Pack Blitz. It's this right here. We're going to open one Mutt.gg pack and I can take one player from this. I can choose one player from my one pack out of the 10. Let's do this, boys. All right. So here's how these packs work. There's 10 of them right here. I get one reroll so I can reroll all of it if I really don't like what I see. So really I have 20. It's every single card in the game. Oh, Charlie Joiner already? Travis Kelsey. Okay, I don't know if that Travis Kelsey is available, but there is a different 93 Travis Kelsey, so I'd probably be able to use that. My reroll, let's see what's in here. Andre Johnson, Dalvin Tomlinson. Ooh, Darnell Savage. 
I think I gotta go Darnell Savage, dude. 96 overall limited Darnell Savage. Oh, bro, that's gonna be perfect. Darnell Savage, 96 overall, 93 speed, 93 cell. A little slower than I thought, but he's a big hitter. 96 zone, and he's gonna be playing in his own. So that's exactly what I need. Keep in mind, I don't have a quarterback right now. This wheel spin has to get me a quarterback. I don't care how we do it, but I'm not walking into a game with Kyle Trask, bro. I'm not doing it. 20K per elim resurgence. I haven't played Warzone in like a month, but I get 20K per elim that I get in a game of resurgence. So I'll definitely get a quarterback. The question is just how good. You guys are gonna absolutely hate me when I load up Warzone. If you had to guess, just based on, you know, you know Papa Meeks, you know me. Based on me, what, what type of kit do I run in Call of Duty? No, what do I run? Do I run snipers, ARs, riot shield? I'll show you my build before I happen this game. All right, baby, here's my loadout. Einhorn Revolving. Uh, I have Gold Camo because it's the only gun I've ever used. Uh, Gung Ho Quick, uh, Panzerfaust, and uh, Amped so that I can use my Panzerfaust faster. I just need a bunch of people to land control and I need all of them to suck. <laughs> you're bad, you're bad, you're bad! You're so ass! Let's go! Oh shit, is that my teammate? Oh, that's my teammate. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I got two off of beat downs. Oh, did you just die through the wall? Let's go! <laughs> Cause you're so fucking lucky, I'm gonna... <laughs> Definitely getting pretty lucky right now, but I don't give a shit. It's for Wheel of Mutt. I have no pride. Oh shit. Let's go. Oh shit, there's more dudes in here. Oh shit, how are you up here? I knew it. I knew he'd be coming through there. Seven boys! Oh, I would love to use that fire cell. No! Oh, get fucked! 1v3! Let's go! Just ate their whole fucking team! Holy shit, wait, dude, I'm literally doing it for Wheel of Mutt right now. I am not this good at Call of Duty at all. I'm actually ass at this game, but I am clutching the fuck up right now. <laughs> there's four teams left, nine, and we're two. So there's three duos and a trio left. Where's the other one? Shit! I had 12! I actually just had fucking 12. That's probably not impressive to use sweaters, but for someone who's ass, that's really impressive. I gotta say though, the options at quarterback are pretty mediocre. Like I kinda want a quarterback with Hot Route Master, but if I have tight end apprentice on Darren Waller and then backfill master on my halfback, it doesn't matter. I could put anybody on any route, anybody that I care about anyway. I never hot route my wide receivers, right? I kinda like Trey Lance. I used him in one episode of Double or Nothing. Faster than hell. But like I can't get it, I can't get any good ability on. Like none. We're gonna do it. We're gonna try Trey Lance. I really wish I could go Jalen Hurts, but I can't. He's too expensive. I'll use roaming Deadeye just in case I scramble outside the pocket. Quick draw isn't bad. You you avoid some sacks with quick draw, and then I guess I'll go recuperation just because I'll be running around with them a lot. We're all set. I clutched up in Warzone and actually got us a crazy good quarterback. And that's it for offense. So we got Darren Waller with abilities, we got Trey Lance with abilities, and Cooper Cup with route tech and red zone threat. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in business. Just need a challenge wheel spin, and we're ready for this first episode. All right, and I'm gonna let you boys see our challenge wheel before we hop into this game. You guys get to see it first. This is crucial right now, too. Let's see what he's got. Is a QB? Oh shit. You know what? Trey Lance is built for this. Our QB needs 30 fantasy points. So Jalen Hurts was actually so incredible this year in the NFL for getting fantasy points, even though he, he really wasn't that good. Because rushing yards are worth a lot. So 100 rushing yards would be 10 fantasy points. A touchdown would be six. And what is a passing touchdown? I think it might be six. Oh, it's four points. So just to set a baseline for this challenge, I used the calculator here to show me NFL.com's fantasy football calculator. If I threw for 200 yards and passed for two touchdowns, I would have 20 points. So the 200 yards came out to 12 points and the touchdowns are four points each for passing and it's six 
for rushing. A perfectly clean slate, zero and zero. Let's hop in, boys. Oh, geez, that, I thought it was my team for a second. It's his, he's got that prime time. This is gonna be really hard. Down at the 16, we are gonna have to play picture perfect. All right, you know what? Darren Waller, try it true, Jesus. Let's go, Trey Lance. Yes, sir. Right in the middle. Beautiful throw back across to Zeke Elliott. Two for two, 18 yards, Trey Lance. All right, you know what? Darren Waller once again. Hey, breaking tackles this time. He doesn't follow Darren Waller. I guess it could have been worse. I could have gotten picked off for sure. Kind of hoping Cooper Cup just does something nasty here. Oh no, how did those fucking bronzes just got bullied? I'm gonna go for it. That's actually open. Oh wait, no it's not, no it's not. Oh, I throw a fucking interception and a fucking volleyball pass. I wasn't even given an option to aggro catch or possession catch or anything catch. I, that is pretty open. Oh, he's looking for halfback. Oh, yeah. that's a horrible ball. That is a horrible ball. You just got fucking bailed out. I don't get anything pretty for a TFL. Let's go, Kingley. What a beast. Got to pick him off. Oh, that's kind of open. Oh, okay, he's going for two. Does he run it this time? No. Jake Funk. The 20 yard pickup. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is good. 13 rushing yards. That's that's 1.3 points on our way to 30. Hopefully, I can double team the right side and roll out right. Yes, sir. Good. This is great. This is great. Let's go. Come on. Come on, prime time. Step up, buddy. Trey Lance with a st mean stiff arm. Bingo. Eh. Jesus. Oh. Oh, that's so frustrating. What are you doing? All right, his Ray Lewis completely missed that. We're gonna try a peak zone bubble to Zeke Elliott. That actually looks pretty open. Great block from Cooper Cup. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is really good. Cooper Cup, huge catch. It's third and goal from the three. We're seven for 12, 73 yards. I'm gonna try and scramble this up the middle because I want the rushing touchdown. Yes, sir. Yes, sir! That's huge! That's huge for Trey Lance's fantasy points. And honestly, by no means is this game over. I think Cooper Cup is wide open. There's Cooper Cup. Yes, sir. Trey Lance is great, dude. He's great. I think we made a really good call. No, I'm offsides. That's horrible. He's gonna bomb one. He had a free play and he got the most beautiful... F How? Well... That wasn't, dude, what kind of fucking angle was that, Simmons? That was the worst angle I've ever seen. I had no shot of tackling him. That jump, how the fuck did you just make that jump pass, bro? I'm so pissed. The start of Wheel of Mutt always grinds my gears, bro. It's so hard to play. There's Cooper Cup, great catch. Darren Waller, wide open, get out of bounds. Get through him. Out of bounds. Look at fucking Noah Gray. Noah Gray was looking at the quarterback like I'm gonna throw it to him. Shut up. Let's be let's be realistic here. That is a sketchy pass. Oh! Oh, he did that shit! That's my prestige! That's the grittiest man on the football field! Cooper Cup! Can't really tell what I wanna do. Oh, Cooper Cup's open. Dude. He catches everything. He just catches everything. 16 to 16, it's still a game, baby. All right, everyone get back there, play deep. And Keekly get through this. Oh, okay, okay. Wait a second, three, two, one. Can I hit this field goal? Oh my God, I can! Galaxy Brain, oh shit, no focus kicker. Yes! Yes! Be better! 19 to 16, what a fucking game. Play action. Oh, I literally thought that was play action. I thought that was play action. I would have lit him up. Wide open. Oh, I'm on him. So close, but I missed it. He could check down. He could take off. This is actually where we'd clamp him, if anything. He wants to go halfback. Oh, huge hit. Oh, I forgot to mention. A forced fumble obviously is an upgrade too. Okay. Good stop. Good stop. Dude, I swear to God, we can get the stop. We're good. Go get him. Go get him. Yes, sir. Lol. How the fuck? 
you're right there. You're right there. That's a horrible pass. You're right there. Mm. That was our stop, dude. That would have clinched this game. Ooh, I like that. Funk, which I find interesting. Noah Gray. I'm going to go inside zone, Jake Funk. This is probably stupid, but I'm fucking doing it. Yeah, it was stupid. Second and nine. He's, oh shit, lagging like hell. <laughs> dude, are you fucking me? I can't do anything with <laughs> lagging like that. Oh, and now the lag is magically gone now that the play's over. Sick. Ooh, bad ball. But Darren Waller jumps in front. I'm gonna double team the left side. I'm gonna scramble left. I think that's my move here. Yes, sir. It's there. Just gotta get inside Ray Lewis, we do! And we dove a little early. I made that a little sketchier than it needed to be. But that's a big fourth down. It's a crucial point in this game. Darren Waller wide open. That's a huge play. He pinches down. I almost could just roll out right side. Ooh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Trey Lance! Fourth and one, it doesn't get any sketchier than that. I like when he pinches down. He always fucks up when he does that. Darren Waller's so open. Oh, break this tackle. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Oh, his, his secondary speed was trash. After breaking that tackle, he was stuck in the mud. But that gets us down to the three and it stops the clock too. No, I'm on the one! Did he not get that? Trey! Oh no, it's fourth and goal! I'm throwing it back! Let's go! Cooper Cup! Oh, I scrambled so many times he bit! And Cooper Cup was wide open! Trey Lance delivers when the world needed him most! It's 26 to 23. His offense is killing me. I have no edge pressure, I have no linebackers, so it's obviously difficult. That was a horrible decision. Oh no, Keekly might not be fast enough. Hey, what a stop! Darnell Savage! Hell of a play. I have to get in front of that. I can't be behind it like that. Because I'm going to lose every time if I'm behind it. Get on the quarterback, Matt. No, I missed him! I was there! I was on him. That hurts so bad. I was on his head. Throws it down. Nice play. Good hit. Pass, pass. Play action. Make a mistake. Make a mistake. I want to see you make a mistake right here, my friend. I just got to fuck you off sides. For what? For what? Fuck me. I hate this game. It does this so often. I'm not even on a deep fucking lineman. I'm making adjustments like anybody would. You can run this ball now and get it. Free fucking play, third and three. That's sick. After, a, ooh, that's so annoying. I have 13 seconds, three timeouts. I guess I could do this. Wow, I just got fucking shafted at the end of the game. It's okay though, it really is a good sign. We're playing an excellent team. We're playing super good with a 78 overall. And I get to keep Trey Lance because I definitely completed my challenge. He's gonna take Cooper Cup. So, oh, he doesn't. Shit. I'm really, the only thing I'm pissed about is the offsides call. How do I get a fucking offsides on a guy I'm not using? How's that even possible? All right, so let's throw Trey Lance's stats into the calculator. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna complete a challenge. So 211 yards passing, two passing touchdowns, one interception, and then he has 81 rushing yards and one touchdown. Yeah, he's gonna be well over. 36.54 PPR points for our boy, Trey Lance. That's huge. 26 to 30, hell, you guys got a hell of a game for the season opener, I can say that. I have to go with Darnell Savage. I'm not even that mad about that. He did have one monster play, but he also dropped an INT, so that's all right. Using my completed challenge wheel instead of a pack, I will be salvaging Trey Lance. All right, boys, that's it for the season opener of Wheel of Mutt. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.